In this video, I'm going to be going over what you should do when you update to Windows 11 or if you have a brand new PC and it's running Windows 11. And this is going to be a quick video to go over some of the things you need to do to improve your Windows 11 experience. Keep in mind that some of these things you might already know about and if that's the case, then just fast forward like 20 seconds and you'll be good. Okay, so the first thing you're going to do when you update to Windows 11 is check for more updates. Again, I know this sounds like common sense, but, but you'll be surprised how many people forget about this. My recommendation is don't do anything with your PC until it says you are up to date and all your updates are complete. This next step is also important and that is to disable the startup apps. As most of you know, these startup apps, these are the ones that turn on as soon as you boot up your PC. Now, Windows 11, there's some pre-installed apps that start up automatically, like Cortana, I don't need that. Microsoft Teams, I don't need that. There's a good chance that the Xbox app is also running at startup. You can turn that off too. Now let's move on to the taskbar, which is one of the biggest improvements of Windows 11. And I actually like it, but there's one thing I don't like, and that is the widgets. So widgets are nothing new. They've been around for years. And honestly, I don't use widgets. I just care about the weather app, which I use on my phone. And I definitely don't care about these news articles that they try and get me to read or these little spam ads right here. The good news is that we can disable it very easily. All you got to do is right click on the taskbar, click on taskbar settings. And from here, you can turn off certain icons like the widgets. I'm going to go ahead and turn that off. And you can see it disappeared from my taskbar. I'm going to go ahead and disable task view because I don't really use it. Basically what that does is it allows you to switch between different desktops. That's kind of handy, but I don't use it. So disable chat. I don't use that. I don't use Microsoft Teams. I never will disable. Now let's talk about privacy. You should definitely go into the camera settings and disable camera access to apps that you don't want to use your camera. There's a good chance that you probably have a crappy webcam on your laptop, just like I do, and I don't use it. And I don't want any apps to use it or I don't want anyone else to use it without me knowing. So I'm just gonna go ahead and turn off all camera access. The next thing we're gonna do is get rid of some of these icons. Microsoft has a deal with these third-party apps so that they appear on the start menu, but obviously we don't want them. Keep in mind that these icons are not really apps installed on your PC. They're just shortcuts. If you click on them, it will download. So that's why I'm getting rid of them. And plus, they're kind of ugly. Another setting you should check is the power settings. What you're going to do is open up the settings app, go into system, and then click on power. From here, you should make sure your power mode is set to best performance. And then while you're here, you should also take a look at your battery saver settings to make sure that they are what you want. And there you have it. Now you are ready to start using Windows 11. I like the way everything looks, but I don't know why we need to upgrade. I don't really feel like it really helped me in my workflow. There's certain things that are annoying and you can't really change it, like being able to drag a video to my taskbar for my video editor. I can't do that. Or being able to change my audio device. Now I gotta go into my audio settings and that's really annoying for no reason. Anyway, I'm sticking with Windows 11 and hopefully in the near future, it gets better. My advice is that if you have Windows 10, stick with it, at least for now. All right, so that is it for this Windows 11 video. I hope it was helpful. I wanted to put out a quick video for those people who got a new PC during the holidays. Hopefully this helped. And as always, if you have any questions, you can leave it in the comments below or you can reach out to me on Instagram or on Twitter.